Diabetes is a common disease in dogs that can have a significant impact on a pet's quality of life, including vision loss. An ongoing study at the Veterinary Health Center at Kansas State University is examining how different topical ocular treatments affect diabetic dogs. The disease can cause blindness through the formation of cataracts in the dog's eye. Owners will actually be able to see the white spot in the eye. They'll also notice that their dog is having a hard time seeing. Um, or sometimes they'll develop inflammation inside their eye, which is kind of tied into the study that we're doing. And they might notice that their dog's uncomfortable, squinting, has a red eye, things like that would bring them in. In order to restore vision, the treatment of choice is to do cataract surgery, um, which is called a phacoemulsification. Unfortunately, cataract surgery isn't an option for all dogs, so if we can't perform cataract surgery on them, we try to help them out by providing anti-inflammatory medications. Some of the more common ones are either non-steroidal anti-inflammatories like diclofenac or steroidal uh, anti-inflammatories like prednisolone acetate. And so in our study, we're comparing those two drugs to see if there's any effect, in, specifically in diabetic dogs, to see if there's any effect on the diabetic regulation. The study is looking for dogs with well-controlled diabetes. After being enrolled in the study, dogs are given a physical and ophthalmic exam. They are also fitted with a continuous glucose monitor which tracks blood sugar and are asked to stay at the hospital for up to three days. After this, they are returned home and are given one of the two topical treatments for four weeks. The participants will then return to the Veterinary Health Center for another set of exams. Some clients then choose to follow up their participation with cataract surgery. Contributing to the study provides benefits to the patient and for the future treatment of other diabetic dogs. I think even if the owner isn't interested in having cataract surgery performed, it's good because you get a lot of information about how healthy the dog is and how well controlled their diabetes is. I think also the added benefit of having them, the dog examined by a board certified internist is really nice for these diabetic dogs. Our goal of the study is to determine whether or not topical steroids interfere with diabetic regulation. So if we find out that predacetate does affect diabetic regulation, especially in these dogs that we already consider fairly well controlled, we probably would assume that it would affect them even more if they were poorly controlled diabetics. So it would give veterinarians and veterinary ophthalmologists the information to maybe not choose that drug. Owners of diabetic dogs can find out if their pet is eligible for participation in the study or to make an appointment can contact the Veterinary Health Center at Kansas State University at 785-532-5690.